YouTube, what's going on? So uh, we just actually got done doing a live between myself and Big J's. Thank you to everybody that was in that live. Uh, we had a good time tonight. HHLC, short for Happy Hour Live Chat. We do it every Saturday night, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern, 5 o'clock p.m. Central. So thanks again to everybody that joined. Uh, this video tonight is going to be on a forced patina and just a couple different types of, of uh, ways that you can do it. Um, and they're very simple, guys. If you guys are looking to, you know, if you have carbon steel and you want to force a patina on you to your knife, it's very simple. Um, honestly, it, it's a it's a no brainer. Um, but one thing is, is, you know, it, it does make the knife look good. Uh, and the second thing is it actually can protect the knife. Uh, you know, the carbon steel that will rust if you don't take care of it. Um, and when you force a patina on it, it actually helps. I'm not saying that it won't rust, but it will, it will help it from rusting, if that makes any sense. Um, so I basically want to show you two knives, two exact same knives, um, that what I did was I, I forced a patina on them using two different methods. Uh, both of these are case Sodbuster Juniors. Um, one is the All-American. This was gifted to me from Jersey Knife Guy. If you don't know Jersey, go check out his channel. Uh, he's a great guy. He has great content. Just going to throw that up there for a minute, Jersey Knife Guy. Everybody that you, that you see here, these are all people that I know on YouTube. All great people. Um, check out, if you see something here, check out their channels. They all have great content. But uh, yeah, this knife was gifted to me from Jersey Knife Guy. And uh, this one here, actually my wife, my wife got me this knife. So... Again, guys, these are both carbon steel knives, and um, I wanted to force a patina on them. I'm going to show you the first one. Uh, actually, I'll show them to you together. I'll, I'll show them both together. So here's one here. If we can bring that in there. Now, this is real spotty. Um, a real spotty patina. And this one here is a very even patina okay as you can see it's all pretty much the same color it's all even and i'm trying to get that in the light for you so you have these two different types of patinas going on you have one that's on the top that's real spotty um and then the one on the bottom that's real uniformed so the way that i did the, let's let's start with the one on the bottom very simple very easy guys all i did was I took an apple and I stuck the knife. As you can see here, you can see all the black in the apple. Um, and that's from the knife being in there. But all I did, guys, I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to really change this patina. Very simple. All you have to do is stick the knife into the apple. Um, you know, and you can put it as far in as you want. If you want to go all the way up to the tang, um, you could do that. If you just want to do the blade, you could do that too, but as far as you want to go onto it, you would stick the knife into the apple there, and um, you would basically let it, you know, say if I was st I had stuck in like this, you, I let it sit there overnight. That's what I did. I let it sit there overnight, took it out the next day, and this is what I had. Now, if I wanted to darken this up even more, what I could do is I could stick it in again, you know, and uh, let it sit maybe another five hours to another night, and it would darken up even more. But you're gonna get these spotty, these spotty, um, the spotty patina on it, because it's just you know, it's just not gonna be uniformed like this other method that I'm gonna show you. So method number one, you could use so many different things, but method number one would be just sticking it into an apple, um, and that you know the acidity will will patina up your knife. Okay, that looks like rust there. That's not rust, guys. That's just the patina. Okay. And again, guys, this helps your blade actually, um, this protects it from rust. Um, so you kind of, you know, it's kind of a good thing for your, for your carbon steel. Now, the second method, guys, is, uh, again, very, very easy. All I did was you take a, take a cup of apple cider vinegar, just like this. Now, if you're looking for a more uniformed patina, I think this looks great, by the way. I really love the way that this looks. Um, you have your, your red handles with that metallic, almost black blade on it. Um, and I really think that that came out looking really nice. You can see the difference here 
where you see the spine. This was the original color of the blade. And you can see the, the, you know, the black on the blade there. But it came out really nice. To use the apple cider vinegar uh, method, all you guys got to do is you're going to take apple cider vinegar. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to measure so before the apple cider vinegar is in the cup or whatever you're using, you're going to want to stick your knife into it, into the, you know, imagine, I don't want to do this because I don't want to change the patina on this, but imagine this is going into the cup. You want to measure out how much you're going to need, pour it into the, pour your apple cider vinegar into the cup. You know, now you know that it's going to cover this much of the blade. So you're all set there. Then you're going to want to stick this into the microwave. Very simple again, guys. Stick this in the microwave. For me, it was three minutes. Three minutes got this uh, got this boiling point. Um, so what you want to do is you want to get it boiling. Once you get that apple cider boiling, it's going to be ready to go. Uh, you want it real hot boiling, like I said. Take it out of the microwave. Be careful. It's going to be real hot. Whether you're using glass, whatever you're using, just be careful. It's going to be extremely hot, actually. And you're going to slowly stick your blade into the uh, apple cider vinegar. The reason why I say slowly is because what's gonna happen is it's gonna start bubbling. That apple cider vinegar is gonna be, is gonna be uh, just bubbling all over this blade. So you're gonna wanna slowly go into that apple cider vinegar. Once you're able to get that knife down there into the cup, just leave it there, guys. You know, you can stick it down in and lean it, you know, lean it like this. So it'll be leaning against the inside of the cup. And you're gonna see all of the bubbles just just attacking that blade. Um, and what I did was I did, you know, you can change the patina. So what I mean by that is you can leave it in there for 10 minutes, you know, take it out after 10 minutes, clean it off with a with a, um, a paper towel, see if it's dark enough for you. Because um, it, it's going to get darker the longer that you do it. So see if it's dark enough for you. If you want a darker patina, then throw it in for another 10 minutes, pull it out and see uh, see if that's, you know, the results that you want. For me, um, this took about, I would say, a half, uh, I would say about 25 minutes to a half an hour. So I stuck this in for 10 minutes into the apple cider vinegar. Um, it was like a metallic color, it was not this dark. I wanted it a little bit darker. So I stuck it in for another 10 minutes. It was even darker. And then I went another five, 10 minutes on it. And uh, this is the color that I got. And this is um, this is really, really the, uh, the color that I was aiming for. And uh, just it just came out great, guys. So yeah, this is just a quick video today um, on how to patina carbon steel. And again, guys, there's so many other methods um, on doing this. You can actually stick this into a potato. You can stick it into an apple, like I said, apple cider vinegar. Um, there's just so many different methods. But if you want a quick, easy method and a uniformed patina like this, I would say the best way to do it would be with the apple cider vinegar. Just make sure that that apple cider vinegar is hot. Um, you know, put it into the microwave, have it get up to the boiling, take it out of the microwave, and you're going to want to put your knife right in there. And... Um, you know, say after 10 minutes of this, this blade being in that apple cider vinegar, that apple cider is going to start to cool down. So if you still want a darker patina, throw the apple cider vinegar back into the microwave, get it up to boiling again, and then throw your knife back into it. The key is, is to get this, get this apple cider vinegar hot. That's how you're going to get that forced patina on there rather quick. Um, but yeah, guys, that was just two quick methods on how to patina carbon steel and uh here's the differences again guys let me get this this vinegar out of the way and here's the differences so the first one here both same knives but the first one there would be the apple force patina now if you're looking for something like this where it's spotty and it kind of looks more realistic um then you go with go with that apple um Go with the apple way of doing it. Go with the potato way, you know, however however uh, works for you. I mean, there's, like I said, you could use a potato, you could use an apple, whatever works. But if you're looking for that type of patina, then you're going to want to go with um, with something like that. Now, again, guys, if you're looking for a more uniformed patina, then you're going to want to use the apple cider vinegar. Leave it right in there for as long as you want until you get that desired color on there. 
and uh and you'll be good to go there's really nothing more to it than that guys that's uh that's all there is to it what i'm going to be doing next is i'm going to be taking this mora i love the mora knife um this mora is carbon steel so you know i'm going to be taking this this mora and i'm going to be doing the apple cider vinegar um force patina on this as well and again guys this also protects your knife from rusting um so it gives it that added protection but this is the ni the next knife that i'll be doing if you and any carbon steel guys you can do that with um it doesn't you know doesn't need to be a specific knife it, it, you know any carbon steel and i'm sure a lot of you guys know that but there are beginners on here um but yeah any carbon steel if you want to patina it you can patina it now this won't work on um on other types of steels carbon steel is going to be what this what this works with um it's not going to work with a stainless steel but the carbon steel this will work with so again guys just a uh couple quick options there for you and i appreciate you guys watching uh, again thanks to everyone that joined our live tonight it was a great time and we'll catch you on the next one be good guys don't forget please like comment and subscribe and please do like the video if you like it it really does help with the algorithm on youtube have a good one guys and take care